So this is just a quick on the fly sort of video. Uh, Zoe here sent me these to basically just get my opinion on them. So I'm going to do that just quickly now and then I'll review them a bit better singly. Because I, I don't want to make a 20 minute video. I'd rather just do each bit separately. So to start with um, Icon Oud. I think that's... Um, style perfumes or something. I don't know, I don't know the brand but this one is very very similar to um, Aramis Calligraphy and it's more or less the same as uh, Armour Shades Wood as well so that's not really my cup of tea but it smells pretty good anyway uh, Armour Niche Oud now this one it's a bit of a misnomer. Um, I think it should have been called Niche Amber. So this one, I don't really know what it's similar to, um, but it's very amber rather than Uda. But the quality of this one is very good. This one's probably my favourite out of all of them. Um, it seems to last quite well. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it's pretty good. I don't know what the price is on it. Um, I'm not sure, but you know, if it's anything like the other armor sort of price, it was a bargain. Uh, then we've got Extreme Oud. So when I opened the packet, I was probably more excited about this one than any of the others. Uh, I believe this is by Fragrance World. I don't know the brand. Never heard of the brand before. Uh, but again, the name is. A complete misnomer. Uh, this one I would say is a clone of Montal Rose's Musk. It's very similar. It's full of rose. It, it really it is nice. Definitely unisex. It's not aimed at men, that's for sure. Definitely unisex. Um, the quality of it is good. Uh, obviously not as good as Montal, but it is good. Again, I don't know the price for it, so I can't tell you that. But it's... Um, it is very good. Um, I would say 80% Montal Rose Musk and 20% Mancera Gold Intensive Oud. I'd say that. Probably the best way because I did think it was a Gold Intensive Oud clone to begin with but then it definitely Rose's Musk. But it has got a little bit of the Gold Intensive Oud sort of feel to it. Um, so out of those three, the Armaf is probably my favourite, uh, just purely because I have stuff that is similar to that. I don't really like that. Um, I mean, if you like Aramis Calligraphy and that sort of stuff, then that'll be right up your street. I'm, I, it's, I don't really like Aramis Calligraphy, so I'm not a fan of that. But that is good quality, though. But the knee shoot, that's the one. If I was going to recommend anyone, I'd recommend that one. Um, and I'd probably buy that one myself so that's the samples that he sent and then he sent uh, an oil as well now I didn't know this was anything like this brand was anything to do with him but um, I've actually bought one of these before over a year ago a 212 VIP and these are really really good um, this one I'd say is a little bit more it loses a bit of the soapiness that you get in the Prada Amber. Uh, well, Prada Amber Intense. So it hasn't got that as much soapiness in there. Um, I don't mind that though. I mean, it still smells good anyway. Uh, so I'd say that one is probably 85% similar. It's like it's uh, just like a little bit too dense and intense. But it's... Uh, still good you, you know it's amber intense um, and I can also comment on the 212 VIP as well that one was spot on 100% so I know the quality is good um, and the price is quite I think they're about £3.50 I think I think they're about that um, I can't remember it was about a year ago when I bought it so I don't know 100% but definitely good um, so yeah I'd recommend these perfume oils um, 
But like I say, I'm going to do individual reviews of all of these anyway, when I know them a bit better. Um, I've just been so busy, I haven't had time to really get into it. But from what I've tried so far, these all seem pretty good. Um, but yeah, the Extreme Oud is... Uh, don't be put off by the name. You know, you think Extreme Oud, it's, that, it's roses and musk. You know, if you wanted to pin me down and say, why is it a clone of Montal Rose Musk? Um, Icon Oud, I'd say, is Aramis Kalukafir. Niche Oud, I don't know, I mean, that's full of amber, and amber's not really my cup of tea, but I do like that one. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do is I'll give them a bit more of a try and try and work out what the Niche Amber, uh, Niche Oud is. Um, yeah, but the oil. I know that's good anyway, so I'll be looking forward to trying that one out this week. Uh, and I'll probably bring another video at the end of the week. Right, leave that there, and I'll catch you in another video at the end of the week.